Hi, everyone. Welcome to this next session of Kaplan's USMLE Step 1 Q-Blast. My name is Dr. Matt Alvin. I'm an incoming medical intern going into radiology. If you're ready to get that higher score on test day, I'm ready to help you get there. Let's get started. So with this question, an investigator, you, you're evaluating the effects of new synthetic drugs on arteriolar resistance. So specifically, we're talking about arteries here. Drug X maximally increases vascular resistance. Notice they put that word maximally in there by 50% at a dose of 20 mg per milliliter. So again, when you've got numbers on test day, you gotta make sure that you're aware of them. 50% with a dose of 20 mg per milliliter. Drug Y maximally increases vascular resistance by 75% at a dose of 40 mg per mil. So biggest differences between drug X, drug Y, well, they both increase vascular resistance. Drug X does it to 50%, drug Y does it to 75% but drug X can do the 50 with a lower dosage, okay? So you gotta keep these numbers in mind. Which of the following conclusions can be drawn from this study? So definitely stuff, as you see here in the answer choices, that deals with pharmacokinetics, okay? Pharmacodynamics. This is basic pharmacology you have in your background knowledge. So let's go through these answer choices. We're comparing drug X to drug Y. So choice A says, drug X is a smaller VD, or volume of distribution than drug Y. Choice B says drug X is a shorter half-life than drug Y. C says that X is less efficacious than Y. D says X is less potent than Y. And E says X has a lower LD50 than Y. So a lot of good pharmacology concepts here. Take a moment, test that farm knowledge, and get to an answer. Okay, great. So the correct answer to this question is choice C, drug X is less efficacious than drug Y. So biggest key point here to take away, efficacy versus potency. Two big concepts. You're very likely to see one of these come test day because this is basic pharmacology, stuff that you're going to need to know as a doctor. Efficacy, what is it? The maximum effect. Note that word maximum. That's why I pointed it out to you in the question stem. That can be produced by a drug regardless of dose. So back in the question, we had drug X maximally increase the resistance by 50%, and drug Y did it by 75%. Despite the doses being different, just because that drug Y has a more maximal effect, that's why it's more efficacious than drug X. Potency, on the other hand, is the dose required to produce 50% of the drug's maximal effect. So we were able to determine this for drug X, they gave it to us, the 20 mg per mil, but for drug Y, we can't determine it because it didn't tell us what dose of drug Y went up to 50% of the maximum effects. It only said if we give 40 mg per mil, it's gonna bring up the maximum resistance to 75%. So we would have need to known what it was at 50% for Y to talk about potency. Other big takeaways from this problem. So besides the efficacy and potency, you gotta know these other definitions. Again, this is basic pharmacology. You gotta get this right on test day because it's a whole section, a section you see on your score report just for pharmacology. Tons of questions like this. Volume of distribution, what is it? The volume of body fluid that would be required to dissolve the total amount of drug at the same concentration that's found in the blood. Definition, half-life, time it takes for the drug concentration to decrease by 50%. And finally, the LD50, the dose that causes death in 50% of a population of subjects. So yeah, I get it. These are definitions. You guys can just read it, okay? But it's more than that. It's about testing your ability to be there, to see these questions, to be able to think to yourself, okay, now that I know all this stuff, how can I apply it to get me more points on test day? That's why you're here with me. That's why you're at home studying. And that's why we're taking the time to make sure that you know this stuff to get higher scores on test day. Thanks for joining me today for Kaplan's USMLE Step 1 Q-Blast. My name is Dr. Matt Alvin. Good luck with studying and I'll see you next time.